Are you happy with Arsenal? <laughs> uh, well, look, I'm as happy as you can be when we are third in the league, and for the last ten years, Arsenal have come third or fourth, right, in the league. We have just been kicked out of the Champions League in the last 16, which we have for the last five consecutive years. And everyone keeps telling me, isn't it great? We're progressing, we're improving, we're so much better than we were. Are we? Really? Martin thinks you're right, you are. No. Does he? Well, no, I think what, what, what you've got... Martin, do you? <laughs> <laughs> yeah, I, I think that where the anger and disappointment was, was the start of this season, we to go back to them, we've, we've taken on Sanchez and Welbeck. And we thought that was the icing on the cake. Because until April, this time last year, Arsenal were really in with a fight of winning it. And it was a very difficult start to the season. In fact, it looked like they, they've rebalanced now and they've come back. But Martin, there's always excuses, right, at Arsenal. Arsenal fans are brilliant now, as are the media, as finding excuses for Arsenal Wenger. What I simply say in my criticism of Wenger, there's not a top four club of any major European team who would have had a manager who's won one second-tier trophy, let's be clear, the FA Cup is not what it used to be, in ten years and still have a job. So my but critique that's not of Wenger... Change. He's not going to change. Nothing will change it's until that, he is changed. There's no point in even bringing that debate. Why? Well, because it's not going to happen. There's but why gonna, won't it There's happen? not going to be a change. But, but why? That why? itself could help to derail the team. He tries to keep a stable ship. And, and I don't this, want a stable this, ship. These mini-victories. Now... Martin, so you want you you play. Of course, you want. You play. play. Thomas is over there. Yeah. You play. Of it, what do you do? Because no, I love Martin Keir. He is absolutely what we lack in this team, in my view. Fighter, warrior. I think that's coming back Arsenal, into the team. A little I bit. And pe players back. like Alexis Sanchez have made a big difference in that area. And yes, we're on a bit of a run at the moment. But statistically, we're, we haven't improved at all. We're exactly where we were. The performance against Monaco was an absolute diabolical shambles. And so to keep finding excuses for a team which simply is not performing at the highest level. Mm. I asked these guys out the back, and I'm not going to put you on the spot and say what the answer was. But I said, when we had the great team, the two double winning teams under Wenger and the Invincibles, Five or six of those teams, each of them, would have walked into any of the top teams in Europe. Real Madrid, Barcelona, Bayern Munich, the Omri's, the Burkamps, the Pires, the Lundbergs and so on. How many of this Arsenal team, if we're honest, would get into Bayern Munich's first team, Real Madrid's or Barcelona's? Apart from Alexis Sanchez, who was sold by Barcelona, I don't think any of them would. So what we have, we have a good team of players, but how many of them really, if we're honest, are top top draw and to win the two big big competitions which the Premier League and the Champions League now are for any supposed big team and Liverpool are but you a don't have big to team have the, you don't you've have got to have, have well, you've got to Listen, have don't at least four or Listen, five of those players. quality players and I don't see them you want good players but you haven't necessarily got to have the best players you've got to have the best team and it's finding the right balance. You can't have the best team without very, where, where, very good players. Yeah, but when there's been a difference, is, and if you think of myself, maybe Ray Parler, the sort of ingredient we added to the team, maybe that's disappeared a little bit. When well, I you see were there for the fight. When I see Cockerland, <laughs> yeah, when I see Cockerland. But he's had the balance for 10 years. No, but he's now Why's finding it. He's, he's going back to, 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 to look forward, really. He's, just, he's only got to look through his portfolio Why, of games. Let me ask you, why does the media give, because people say to me, I think Arsenal fans are split. If you ask them all today, I reckon it'd be half and half on Wenger, right? But why does Wenger get such a free pass in the media? There is not a manager of a Liverpool team, a Manchester United team, a City team, a Chelsea team, who would get five it's years of this kind of record. It's obvious he created everything you sit in the stadium you're in today. No, he it's, didn't. He's Herbert, helped, to, Herbert all, Chapman he's helped created, to put all that together. Herbert Chapman created Arsenal. If he'd just Arsenal. arrived here now and was the manager, and we Arsene had three Wenger, or four years of non-success, he wouldn't Wenger, be in a job. Martin, Arsene Wenger's been a great manager, right? He had an amazing first eight years, the like of which we've never seen. But Herbert Chapman created Arsenal, True, actually, yeah. if you study the history of the club. George Graham was a brilliant manager for Arsenal. And we will have brilliant managers when Arsene Wenger is no longer here. People say to me, who could replace Arsene Wenger? And I'm like, who could replace a man who's won one FA Cup in ten years with the kind of money that we've had, certainly in the last four or five years? Right? The answer is, a lot of people. So he decides, I get from, Fletch, he decides when, when, when he goes. Why? Yeah, I mean, he, yeah, but you're saying that. Why does he decide he, when he goes? Because he's the creator of his own he's not destiny. He's the Pope, for goodness' sake. It's not he's like going. a big puff of white <laughs> smoke. <laughs> his Holiness has decided no, I'm see, ready to leave. Pierce, that's how it's going to be. That's, that's not how you can make that's as that's noise as you want. But ain't going to ain't going to change at this football club. But he runs this football club. Well, that bit. You see, what you've hit the nail on the head uh, with that statement is what the reality is. Arsene Wenger is the emperor of this stadium and this club, and people do not think there's any way of him 
leaving. And I simply say, why is that debate not being had more intelligently and vociferously by the body of fans here? Do they want to keep coming See, when, third well, fourth? What Piers says there, when you listen to Piers, and you know, he is very passionate. I, I hear people saying, you're not passionate or a real fan. You are a real fan of football club. I think what he says is good. When you think about who can replace Wenger, Wenger's only won the FA Cup in 10 years. So a lot of managers could do that at this football club. Yeah. Well, not I'll, want to quit. Very much so. But then... I the, passed the, Harry Redknapp on the way out. Huh? You don't think he can win an FA Cup with the kind of money that Arsenal have had? But I, in I this think stadium we're, we're talking now. We Arsenal, are, Arsenal are right now to go and win a trophy. But there's, they've come through a situation of, you know, some take massive borrowings here to do what they did. They couldn't compete for the top players. Could have, they could have speculated a, a little bit more. I mean, they were very safe in their money, money management, the way they've done it. It's a very sound business club. Now. We're not a bank, but Martin. We're not. We're not a bank. It's there to take off. I don't off. care about and, balancing and I, books. And I, think it's, I care it's, about being competitive. I think Arsene Wenger, really coming through that, deserves the chance to, to take this club on now and to, and to finish the job off. He's had 10 years! But he's come through, like, it's a very different Arsenal. Well, well, I, 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 I don't want to criticise Martin Kim because your loyalty to this club is the like of which you will rarely encounter, right? He bleeds for Arsenal. But nobody can tell me that if you got this guy in a bar and had a pint and said to him, are you happy with what's been going on I, here for the last 10 I just, years? Is, I, it, is yeah. it more where the manager... Go, have we got Jason McAteer on the show? <laughs> Thank you. been frightened to death for the last five minutes. Sorry, the thing with Arsenal is... is you what know do you what think? You, be honest. I think, I think it's time maybe for Arsene Wenger to go and it be freshen up here, I think, because you, you know what you're getting year in, year out. They're never going to win the Champions League. They're going to challenge possibly for the Premier League, they're going to be there or there about the end of the season, but what you're going to get is your financial structure, like you said, the business plan, it's going to run out the same every year, so they're happy with what the club's doing, so why, why do they want to change they it? It's a change. risk, isn't it? They don't want change. But at the end of the day, you've got to, you've got to give your fans I think, success, I think, trophies, what, I think the only thing I see as a former watching it, you know, there just needs to be a little bit more drive. I think Arsenal, they can go a goal behind and they switch on. I want them to run games from the That's start. That's been ten years, though. Yep. No, it, it's risk, been, yeah, but we're risk. now with the with third or fourth pl set of players here. You look at the players that were there ten years ago, it's a completely different group. Yeah, but You've got to give honestly, group. Martin, is this team really any better than the team when we I had... I think it's very oh, close. Wait a minute, the one we had close. Van Persie, Nasri, Song and Fabregas, all of whom we shipped out within two years. So we have had reasonably good teams, certainly at this level, mm. probably slightly higher than this level in the last ten years. But we went through a period of... You know, when, I lost it with Wenger, I'll be honest with you. When we sold Robin Van Persie to Manchester United, mm. right? When we sold our club captain mm. to, the, to our big rivals of the last 20 years, when we did that and they won the league and he was the top scorer, mm. I wanted to be physically sick. Van Persie sent me a double-sided framed <laughs> picture of himself <laughs> kissing the Premier League, right? Mm. Dear Piers, it was dear tears for Piersy, right? <laughs> Hope you, thank, you, thank you for all your support in the is, season, right? I wanted to smash it against a wall. And Wenger caused that. He took a call personally from Alex Ferguson. I want to buy Van Persie, and did the deal with him on the phone. Can you imagine the other way round? Because in the 10-year period that we won one FA Cup, Alex Ferguson, have, Alex Ferguson won have. 10 trophies in that last 10 years of his tenure, right? Don't forget that, when they went through stadium restructuring as well. Listen, I'll tell you but, can you, but can you imagine, you know let, let me go. finish, let me finish. Can you imagine the following conversation? Uh, hello, uh, 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 Alex, it is Arsene here. I would like to buy Wayne Rooney. Go! Eh, oh, here it is, yeah. <laughs> Boom! <laughs> <laughs> Which is why Arsene, Arsene Wenger has won one FA Cup in 10 years, and why Alex Ferguson in his last 10 years, including his last season, was a massive trophy He allowed winner. the boy to go because he wanted the player to... You don't to, allow the boy to go. You it, put him in the bloody He couldn't give him what days. he wanted at this particular club. Which was trophies. And he wanted to go, and he didn't want an old happy player at the football well, club. But Rogers, so that's Sterling, Gordon. That's Sterling. That's it. What? That's the end, that's the end. So, We've yeah, but, so Rogers won't let Sterling go, though. We got no more time. Really? We hardly said a word. Drop something. We'll be back. I declare myself the winner.